What this land here means to us, it's, uh, it's very sacred. We were put here to take care of it. That's what we were told by Kuska and Apica, the creator. You know, we were put here and they said, this land is here for you to use. And as long as you take care of it, it'll take care of you. The Pacific Northwest of the United States and Canada is home to the largest inland temperate rainforest on planet Earth. Mountain caribou depend on these ancient rainforests for their survival. However, these animals are now on the brink of extinction. Drastically reduced from their historic numbers, less than 1,500 mountain caribou remain. The last herd of mountain caribou in the continental United States is down to just a dozen animals. It's a pretty widely accepted thing. As we lose old growth forests, we lose caribou. Mountain caribou basically play the role of the canary in the coal mine. They're a sign that the ecosystem is beginning to break down. Just about wherever else these, these inland rainforests exist, people have cut them down long ago. This one we're just getting to now. The logging industry in our province has cut its way through some tough years, but now, finally, things are looking up. In many parts of BC, much of the easily accessible timber has been cut. Now it's time to extend and improve access to new areas. You know, people love and depend on these mountains for so many different reasons. And finding a path to meet all of our diverse needs is the big conservation challenge of today. Wild spaces in BC are what give my life identity. They're what give British Columbia its identity. To me, it's not even a question. There's nothing more important than preserving these wild spaces. Without the animals and without the trees and the forests, like our culture wouldn't survive. All animals, like not only caribou, are part of our makeup. What we need to see is the caribou all reconnected again, all across that landscape. And that means the landscape has to come back and be reconnected again as well. Will we see that in our lifetimes? Not mine, but somebody's, if we want it bad enough. Yes, she has.